A seemingly normal flow of traffic and less congested expressways suggests a departure from the typical holiday rush. From our aerial perspective, the roads appear to be operating at a standard pace, indicating that unlike previous years, there might be a decrease in long-distance holiday travel. While the spirit of the Yuletide may be in the air, the bus parks tell a different story. Although the federal government had promised a transportation waiver, which is a 50% slash on road transport this festive season, the travelers say there seems to be no reduction in the fares. They didn't slash, uh, slash any price. The last time I traveled, I think St. Chisco, I paid 17,000 Naira to Lagos. Now, 30,000 30, Naira. The price has somebody reduced. I think I went home about three or four weeks ago. And what I paid at that time is what I'm paying today. I don't normally, like 3,000, 4,000 maximum. That's how we used to enter before the fuel increase and all that. And uh, coupled with the fact that this is yellow tight season now, as of this morning, I'm going to do it, it is 7,000 naira. 7,100. The federal government's intervention also includes train services, which are to operate at zero cost to and fro on their travels this holiday season. But a visit to the Mobalaji Johnson station at Ebutemeta shows that even though the ride is actually free, getting on board the train is a different story. Though the train has been declared free for everybody, but it's unfortunate that the staff here are collecting 3,000 naira from people to shunt the queue. I've been here since 602. Men, men that came before me are on the queue. Men that came after, they have been taking them inside. Collecting 3,000 naira from each person. I've been here since 5, 5 a.m., yes. Then they told us to queue. We came early, we queued. At some point, they told us that they want to switch on the gen to make it orderly, and we followed the procedure. Then, a um, few minutes later, after they heard the, the light, they were asking me without the ticket to come in. And whereas people that were trying to book three days ago, we were trying to book, the site was down, we were not able to book the ticket online, and we were telling them to let us go in, they said no. But at some point, we noticed that they were collecting money. They collected money from some people, and we, they had them to enter. And those people that cannot pay, that want to follow due process, was unable to enter. When we go here, they should have just told us that if you don't have ticket to be going back to your house or use the other public transport, but they just kept us here till now. See, people are even still around, and it doesn't even make sense. And the officials are collecting money, bribing and corruption. No, no, it's bad. The process is, is not good at all. I've enjoyed this thing before. I think maybe last year or two years ago, when this first opened this spring. So it wasn't like this. You just come, you show them your ID card, either NI or anything, and they let you in. They give you the ETK. That one is very easy. The challenge team is here already. You are doing what is very, very wrong. Yes, sir. You are doing what is very, very wrong. Everybody should validate. That's not the case. Which is it? Let me see now. Let me see now. Let me see now. Let me see now. Which is it? Which is it? The roads are the arteries of holiday travel. But the unusual calm at bus parks and congested train services suggests a different pattern in holiday travel this year.